one and two. I'm in Mexico. I just came, I'm just online to say hi. Do south, palm strike, right knee up, phoenix spread swings, and then step slide forward, downward block, eye poke, step slide back, man spice cave, then step forward, straight punch, turn around, funche, funche, Right four cents with the back fist, a downward block back fist, then wipe underneath, stealing step, and strike the groin. Remember this man's hook is up, and this one is striking also up as I go in that pushing stance. I wanna think of, okay, I'm advancing, so one and two. So pop them in the face as I go into that forward stance, but I'm just transferring my weight onto that right leg so I can set them up for that groin strike. Sorry again. She thought you said Zoom meeting, so she's Zooming around. <laughs> and I want to imagine someone's punching my left ear, so I'm gonna steal behind as I grab, and then step back into a left forward stance with the side hammer fist, then back fist, and strike the groin. Okay, so again, I'm here. I'm just gonna do south side hammer, back fist, and strike the groin. My right fist is circling down and around. So I gotta get this big circle as I strike out in front. Again, from the side, be if I was in that Hing Choi, I'm shifting and I'm striking out this way, All right? So that's how it ends up out in front. I'm here, circling around, then striking to the left. My left hand is just pulling straight back behind me. So from this angle, I'm just pulling straight back and my pinky side is up. So all together, pull and side strike. From this angle, pull, side strike. Then the next move is just pulling my right fist to the waist as I do a left punch. That's easy. Once I'm here, just shift over. So I'm gonna go from this right king toy, side strike, and left punch. So I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. From this move, I'm just gonna step out with my left foot and reverse punch, and then I'm gonna grab cross kick, and then my left hand slaps on top as I do a right toe kick, slap into a snake stance, slam down. I'm gonna shift my feet, circle with the sweep, as I, I'm still in that snake stance, and then stand up, left elbow behind me, then right downward block, and right eye poke. Reverse punch, grab cross kick, slap, toe kick, snap, down, turn, sweep, then stand up, elbow down, eye. So the timing of that from here, elbow, I'm gonna go one. So elbow, one, two. My left fist goes to the waist as I do that downward block. One, two, three. So on count two is the important part. So one is the elbow, count two is fist to the waist, and right downward block, and then right eye. Point. You know, just going from a standing position into a snake stance position like that, most people kind of take it for granted, but it, whenever I see a human being have the ability to do that, that already tells me that they've reached a certain threshold of physical ability that I'm not worried about them anymore. So you, you literally, went, you're standing here and you went, whoop, and you just snuck down in that. Trust me, that's, that's hard for a lot of people. Phoenix press wings with our sword fingers, then left knee up, and then switch grip, looking to your left, down and around. We'll just go lift, Strike the face, crane stance, straight thrust. Then I'm gonna step forward, strike the face. Then one more, right crane stance, and straight thrust. So I'm just gonna go one, and then I'm gonna step forth my right foot and do another downward block as I go into a uh, stealing stance. And I'm gonna do a left sword finger up, right straight thrust, but I'm gonna do a jumping toe kick, then down low. All right, so just easy, just one and two. If you can, try to stick that landing once you do the jumping toe kick because if I'm going, oh, 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 then I'm gonna fall into it and I'm probably not gonna have a good stance. So I'm gonna try my best to stick this landing, but that way I can aggressively move forward for that downward block straight thrust. This hand is dropping down just so I can get, I can scrunch my obliques a little bit more. And this side is stretching the cue well. So I'm starting here and then oh, I'm really crunching on this side, left hand up, right hand down, and right leg up as high as I can. Yep. E. Some say 
the QL attaches to our spine, our hip, and our lower ribs. And it's deep inside too, since we tend to sit a lot, so it doesn't get that much activity. It's just in a stationary position. So we just wanna slowly incorporate more movements from our spine. I was just looking up that muscle and it says also it aids in breathing. The more we train, the more we know about ourselves, then we're less likely to get injured and cosmetics. Good job, you guys.